In this video, I will test six different antennas on three different frequencies, doing four tests per frequency and antenna combination. In total, will be, or we will have 72 test pieces. Well, the antennas for the test are the Axi, the Lollipop V2, the Maker Fire, the Raptor, the Speedex Pagoda 2, and the Triumph. As you see, we will use them in pairs, one in the quad and another in the goggles for the DVR. As flying the quad with different antennas can introduce some extra errors because it's hard to repeat the same test each time. I mean, uh, flying through the same spot exactly, uh, no one millimeter off or on on the on that path. So I'm doing the test with the quad in one specific location with Moro's arm to keep the VTX temperature stable. So we'll keep at the same time the transmission power stable. By the way, if you want to know how the temperature of the VTX affects the transmission power and see a video about it, please let me know down below in the comments. As I said, with each antenna and frequency combination, I will put the goggles in four different locations each time. Each spot will have more blockers than the previous spot during the test. And the spots are marked with one, two, three, and four, where spot one is about four feet from the quad and with few blockers and the spot 4 uh, will be a lot farther from the quad and we have a lot more blockers making the spot 4 very hard for any antenna well this test won't tell you the range of each antenna I mean the range each antenna can reach but will tell you more or less how good or not is the antenna signal to penetrate this is not a scientific test but I did as best as possible to keep everything constant during the test except the antennas. At the end of the comparison video that you will see now, uh, I will show some conclusions and I will explain how I get to those numbers. Please pay attention closely because it's hard to look at see video at the same time. So here we go. Not that fast. Uh, I forgot to explain why I'm using these three frequencies. I took this graph from RC Groups, from a post in 20, from 2016 that did uh, RC Man. I hope there is no problem to using this graph. Uh, anyways, the R1, as you see marked here in the, in the graph, is because it's a frequency that is on the lower side uh, of the frequency spectrum for FPV. And F4 is about in the middle. And I picked R8 because it's on the right side or in the higher frequency side of the spectrum. So that's it. Now we going now to see the videos. Sorry. Well, uh, with this table is the one that I use to guide myself to get a conclusion. 
Uh, the numbers are not that meaningful, but at least for me, uh, three means that there is about you can fly with, with that quality of the feed. Uh, if it's four, it means that it's good feed quality from the VTX, and five is that it's very good quality. So <clears throat> in this case, uh, we can conclude that, uh, for example, the spot four is too hard to hit. Nobody got four or five. Uh, no antenna got four or five on, on, on the spot four. But uh, as it's too hard, allow us to very well understand which one did better in between all of them. For example, the one in green, uh, as we can see here, the, the Raptor was the one that did better in F4 and did better in R8. So my conclusion is that that is the best antenna. Uh, another good antenna based on this test is the Speedix, uh, based on the numbers, but the one that, based on this number, is on the third place, is uh, the Triumph. Uh, we can see that it's more consistent, because it has a 3.5 here, 3.5 here, 3.5 here. The only one with 3.5 in all the bands, or, I mean, on all the three channels. But anyway, those, again, the numbers are not that important at the moment. Well, this is my personal evaluation. Now, looking at the numbers, without looking at the video again, I can say that uh, here the worst was Mike Fire. Here, the, in F4, the worst was uh, the lollipop. And here, the worst was make a fire again. But uh, I can see that the Axie and the, and the Raptor and the Speedix didn't perform better than the Triumph. So, and here, uh, it's a curiosity in the spot four, which is the hardest, I was expecting the Triumph perform better than the Raptor, but Based on the video, the Raptor performed better than the Triumph, a little bit better. Anyway, I would say these two, these two are probably even on R8, but I have to say personally that the Raptor uh, is, in this case, my winner. Please feel free to let any comment that, uh, on anything you have a question or, so, or something that you are not agreeing or you not understand what I did, and I will be more than happy to reply to your, to your question. And another thing I will ask is, uh, I, I'm not asking for support with money or anything like that, but I will be good uh, if you subscribe to my channel because for you, it's free, so it don't cost you anything. And to me, it won't give me anything either, but it will motivate me more to do more videos like this in the future. All right, thank you so much for watching, and as usual, clear skies and happy flight.